The physical properties of aldehydes and ketones are described as follows. Methanol is a gas at room temperature. Ethanol is a volatile liquid. Other aldehydes and ketones are liquids or solid at room temperature. The boiling points of aldehydes and ketones are higher than hydrocarbons and ethers of comparable molecular masses. It is due to the weak molecular association in aldehydes and ketones arising out of the dipole-dipole interactions. Also, the boiling points are lower than those of alcohols of similar molecular masses due to absence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Some important compounds on the boiling point and molecular masses are given here. N-butane has a boiling point of 273 Kelvin and molecular mass 58, whereas methoxyethane has a boiling point of 281 Kelvin and molecular mass 16. Propanol has a boiling point 322 Kelvin and molecular mass 58. Acetone has a boiling point 329 Kelvin and molecular mass 58. Propane one all has boiling point 370 Kelvin and molecular mass at 60. The lower members of aldehydes and ketones such as methanol, ethanol and propanone are miscible with water in all proportions because they form hydrogen bond with water. As we can see here, this is hydrogen bond formed with water. However, the solubility of aldehydes and ketones decreases rapidly on increasing the length of the alkyl chain. All aldehydes and ketones are fairly soluble in organic solvents like benzene, ether, methanol, chloroform, etc. The lower aldehydes have sharp pungent orders. As the size of the molecule increases, the order becomes less pungent and more fragrant. In fact, Many naturally occurring aldehydes and ketones are used in the blending of perfumes and flavoring agents. Aldehydes and ketones contain the carbonyl group that is C double bond O. Oxygen being more electronegative, the C double bond O bond is polarized so that the oxygen becomes negatively charged and carbon positively charged. Therefore, the nucleophilic reagents attack the electron deficient carbonyl carbon. Both charged and the uncharged nucleophiles can attack carbonyl carbon to form additional products. This is the most common reaction for aldehydes and ketones. Another kind of reaction of aldehydes and ketones which contain at least one alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogen is a hydrogen attached to the alpha carbon of the carbonyl group. This hydrogen is acidic, hence a strong base can remove this hydrogen as a proton generating a carbanion of the aldehyde or ketone. The carbanion being nucleophile brings forth nucleophilic attack on any electron deficient carbon, normally carbonyl carbon leading to condensation reaction. Reactivity Aldehydes are more reactive than ketones for both steric and electronic reasons. The presence of alkyl group increases the crowding near carbonyl group and also increases the electron density at the carbonyl carbon by inductive effect. Reactions common to aldehydes and ketones This is the reactions of the alkyl groups. Reaction of the carbonyl group where the bond splits and attaches to these two atoms. Now let us study about the reactions of alkyls and reactions of carbonyl groups. In aldehydes, the alpha hydrogen atoms are more easily replaced than in ketones. When acetaldehydes react with chlorine, the chlorine atom here replaces this hydrogen to form trichloroacetaldehyde along with hydrochloric acid. But whereas when acetone is reacted, it produces, it replaces all the three hydrogens here to form trichloroacetone and hydrochloric acid.
This reaction proceeds with the formation of carbanion. When ketone is made to form as an intermediate, it produces carbanion as we can see here. This when reacted with Cl2 produces alpha chloroketone ketone as we can see here. Addition reactions. The carbon of the carbonyl group is the site of nucleophilic attack. The negative part of the addendum adds to the carbon and the positive part to the oxygen. In the addition of sodium bisulfate to give bisulfate compound OSO2Na anion is the nucleophile. As we can see here, acetone when reacts with HOSO2Na, it produces acetaldehyde bisulfate compound. Alcohol condensation. This reaction is catalyzed by base. The carbon ion generated is nucleophilic in nature. Hence, it can bring about nucleophilic attack on carbonyl group. Step 1. The carbon ion is formed as the alpha hydrogen atom is removed as a proton by the base. When acetone is made to react in the presence of OH- it produces this compound that is nothing but a carbon ion along with water as a byproduct. Step 2. The carbon ion attacks the carbonyl carbon of another unionized aldehyde molecule. Step 3. The alkoxide ion form is protonated by water to give aldol. That is still the alkoxide ion we have. When it is made to react with water, it produces aldol. Acetone also undergoes this type of condensation as shown over here. That is, when acetone is made to react with OH- it produces the carbon ion along with water. So, this carbon ion reacts with other molecules of acetone that is undergoes nucleophilic attack to produce this molecule. When it is made to undergo protonation form this compound that is CH2COCH3, CCH3 twice OH. When an aldehyde and ketone react in the same way, it is called cross aldol condensation. The previous example we saw is an example of the cross aldol condensation. 